Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got another A-level math tricky question for you today. Uh, this is an old Excel spec question. It came from uh, a paper in 2007, um, and it's just got a, it's a lovely integration by substitution with a um, an x as an exponent. So I thought this would be a good one to try. Um, I know how difficult people find integration, um, and on that note, check out my live revision session in the Easter holidays all on integration link in the description um, right let's get into it so now the first thing i'd always do for an integration by substitution would be to differentiate the substitution to find um, a value for dx now in this instance we need to remember how to differentiate a function where x is the exponent so in order to do that i'm just going to remind ourselves of um, the proof for the derivative of a to the x, where a is just a uh, arbitrary constant. So in order to uh, work out the derivative of this, we need to take the natural logarithm of both sides, uh, like so. That will then allow us to bring down the power using the log rule, so that the x becomes the um, uh, coefficient, uh, like so. Uh, and then we're going to differentiate both sides. Now, the left hand side is a function of y so we're going to need to use implicit differentiation so we differentiate it with respect to y um, and the derivative of uh, ln in this case y is 1 over y uh, and then because it's implicit differentiation we multiply it by dy by dx and then the right side when we differentiate that with respect to x well this is just a constant ln a because a is a constant so ln of a is a constant uh, multiplied by x, so the derivative of that will just be ln a, just in the same way that like 3 times by x, the derivative of that is just 3. Okay, so the next thing we could do is isolate and find dy by dx on its own by multiplying both sides by y. Um, and then we can take this and we can say that y um, is uh, a to the x, as it says right at the top. So therefore we get a to the x ln a. Uh, perfect, so that is the proof. Okay, so I can box that up and I'm going to use that in order to differentiate our substitution. So our substitution says that u is equal to 2 to the x. Um, so in this case, I will find du by dx by differentiating 2 to the x. Um, and just like here, a to the x gives us a, a to the x ln a. 2 to the x will give us 2 to the x ln 2. And um, we want to swap out all the x's as best as possible. So 2 to the x we know is u. So we can just swap that straight out. So we can say du dx is equal to u ln 2. And then I want to make uh, dx the subject. So I multiply both sides by dx. And then I'll divide both sides by u ln 2 and that gives me dx okay perfect right so that's important when we do an integration by substitution so we'll use that later um, and the next thing we need to do is remember to do the limits so I don't want to forget that so x is 1 and 0 are limits so because we're swapping everything out for u we need to figure out what the limits will be in terms of u so subbing in to the substitution itself uh, in here, we get that when x is 1, u is 2 to the 1, which is, uh, or 2 to the 1 is equal to 2. And when x is 0, we get u is 2 to the 0, uh, and 2 to the 0 is 1. Okay, great, so we've got our limits. Um, and now I think we're good to transform this integral. So we can say that the integral between 1 and 0 of 2 to the x over 2 to the x plus 1 squared dx is equal to the new limits of 2 and 1. Um, the numerator is just u, so it says there is 2 to the x. Okay, uh, and the denominator is uh, u plus 1 squared and then we're multiplying by dx which we have shown to be equal to du 
over u ln 2. Perfect. So, uh, what we can do is we can uh, divide through, because we've got a times by u there, and then a divide by u there, so they will cancel. Um, and outside we could take the constant, uh, which is 1 over ln 2. We could take that out of the integral, because it's a constant. And then we're just left with uh, du on top and u plus 1 squared on the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to figure out how to integrate this. Uh, so the best way of doing this is just writing this bracket here as a negative power, like so. Uh, and then we're going to integrate that. Let me grab some more space. Okay, so we can keep this outside and we can draw a big square bracket because now we're going to integrate this. Uh, now, the first thing to notice is this is a linear bracket, uh, so there's no uh, tricky function in there. It's a nice linear bracket whose derivative will be a constant. And that means that we can integrate this just like we would any other just normal variable. So, in order to integrate, we would up the power, which goes to minus 1, if you add 1 to the power divide by the new power, minus 1, and then we must also divide by the derivative of the bracket, uh, which in this case is just 1, because u differentiates to 1, so dividing by 1 uh, doesn't do anything, so we just leave it as this, uh, and then we have 2 and we have 1. Okay, perfect. Um, so now, um, what we need to do is just simply substitute in our limits. Uh, so the 2 goes in first, we get 2 plus 1 is 3, and then minus 1 power means the reciprocal, so that's 1 third, and then there's also a negative here as well. Uh, so that's the first limit, and then the second limit is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, reciprocal is a half, then minus, so minus a half. Okay, perfect. So next we just need to do, um, we'll just add these together. So positive a half minus a third is going to be um, a sixth. Uh, and then finishing it all off, we get to get one over six ln two. And that is our final answer. Right, I hope you found that helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.